Good morning. Samina Khan is here in TK Maths is one. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of a trigonometry which is um, which has identity and solving equation and cubic expansion. To explain this concept, I have taken a question from June 18, variant 3, 3 question 5. This topic is a part of the syllabus of A-level mathematics, paper 3, and the code is 9709. So before I begin, you can see on the top my website address, tkmaths.com, and my blog address, tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com. You will find all my videos I have made so far on my website and on my blog address. Whereas website has other information, for example, a checklist for preparation of exam and uh, solutions of challenging questions and online tuitions help also. So do visit it, you will find it useful. So let's begin with the question. So question is saying first by expanding cos square x plus sin square x over all power 3 or otherwise show so main thing is that you have to show that cos power 6x plus sin power 6x is equals to 1 minus 3 over 4 sin square 2x. So basically you have to show this and question is saying very clearly either expand it first and then show or otherwise whatever comes in your mind. So we will take the help of this expansion. So if you recall here, you will recall the cubic power binomial formula a plus b cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So if you don't know, you can apply binomial and you will get the same thing. So this formula I will apply on this. So my a will be cos square x and my b will be sin square x. So I will just plug in in this formula, right? So when I will plug it in, I will get this formula here. So you can say a was cos square x. Can you notice? So a is coming here, a is coming here, and b is sine square x. So it is sine square x power 3, sine square x power 2, got it from here, and this is sine square x. So after substituting these values, what I have to prove, right, has only sine square. So what comes in your mind after doing this step? That you do not want cos square, right? So if you remember or if you can recall the identity that sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1, right? So in place of this cos square x plus sin square x, I can write 1. And in place of cos square x, I can write 1 minus sin square x. So I will replace this, replace this, and replace this with the help of identity. So you can see here in cos square x I'm writing 1 minus sin square x and here in place of cos square x I'm writing 1 minus sin square x and here in place of this one. Now again you will think of applying what identity here algebraic identity which is a minus b whole square. So formula is you remember a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this formula I will apply here. See here. As it is, as it is. But here I am applying the formula a minus 2ab plus b square. So it will become this. Sin square is coming as it is. And then 3 and sin power 4x will multiply by 1. I will get 3 sin power 4x. And then 3 and sine power 4x multiply by this, it will become sine power 6x. Here I have written. And minus multiply by plus is minus 3. And this last term, which is sine x cube, a 6 power mx is here. Do not make a mistake of writing x cube. Powers will multiply 3 to the 6. So it is sine power 6x. Right? Now, this sine square x will multiply all these terms, all three terms. The remaining part will remain same. Okay? So now let's multiply sine square x by all three terms and do not do anything else. So I've simply multiplied sine square x by 1. I got what? 
3 sine square x because 3 is outside the bracket here. Then 3 twos are 6 minus 6 sine square x multiplied by sine square x is sine power 4x. Then 3 ones are 3. So I've written here 3 and sine 4 power and square power will multiply become power 6. The rest of the things will remain same. Now what do you see? What you will do? Can you cancel out anything? You can cancel this term and this term. Yes, because exactly same but with opposite sign. So these two terms will cancel out. What else you can do for simplification? I can see sine power 6x and cos power 6x is coming here, which I have to show as a proof. So good. But let's see power 4. If you see coefficient is 3, coefficient is minus 6. So it will become minus 3 sine power 4x. Okay. So these two terms will simplify. So here I have cancelled it out. And now this term and this term I will simplify. It will become minus 3. So I have written here minus 3 sine power 4x. Now this sine power 6x I am taking here. Here. So I have written them together. This is what we have to prove. So this part is coming here. And then you will uh, add this with this. It will become minus 3. After that, what comes in your mind? What will you do? Yes, you can take 3 sine square x common from here. Right? The rest of the thing is as it is. And now, from here, 1 is left. Factorization simply. And 1 minus sine square x is what? Cos square x. Absolutely. Now, you have to show with sine power square 2x. So, what comes in your mind? Let's see. So this is what we have gotten so far and this is what we have to show. So now you have to think of the, you see it is only x here and it is 2x. So it reminds us of double angle formula. So if you remember this double angle formula, sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. So now we have to do something here because you see this is as it is what we have to prove. One is also coming here. But this needs to be fixed. So now, if you see it is upon 4. So what you can do? First of all, I am taking all these terms. This side. So it is 1 minus 3. So I am multiplying and divided by 4. Simply because if you cancel 4 by 4, you will be left with 3 sine square x cos square x which is here. So I am multiplying and divided by 4. After that, because I have to bring it into this form. So target is this. So now I am writing square as the overall thing. Because 2 square is 4. It will become sine square and cos square if you remove the bracket. So now this is reminding me of this formula. Can you notice here? 2 sine x cos x. And if you apply square here, you will get this question back. So now in place of this, 2 sin x cos x, I will write sin 2x. So I will write sin 2x in place of this, like I said, and square mean it will be sin square 2x. So what is happening here? You got what you have to prove. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, no, there was one more part of it, sorry. So let's solve that part also. And that part was saying solve this equation, right? Cos power 6x plus sine power 6x. So now you have to show this or solve this. But in part 1, we have seen that we have proven that this thing is equal to this. So now to solve this equation, instead of this, I will use this, what I have proven. So my question or my equation will become this, right? So now I will take 2 upon 3 on this side and this term on this side. And I have to solve for the range 0 to 180 degree. Okay, so now because it is 2x, it will change the range. 
So if you multiply throughout by 2, it will become 0 to 360. Because 0 multiplied by 2 will remain 0, 180 multiplied by 2 will become 360 degree and 2x. So this helps you to change the range. I have brought 2 over 3 to this side. After that, simply I'm simplifying this term. This is as it is. Then this will cross multiply. And now what you will do? I think now it is almost same what you have done in uh, P1. So now I will take a square root on both sides and I will get sine 2x is equals to plus minus 2 over 3. After that, we will find out first of all basic angle absolutely. So if you remember, because sine is plus and minus, and according to ASTC, sine is positive in the first two quadrant. So I will draw basic angle here, but it is negative at the same time. So sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrant. So now I have drawn basic angle here also. So let's find out what is our basic angle. So basic angle is 41.8. So forget about this 2x. With the help of this 2x, we have changed the domain. Okay. So now we will do it or use it later. So simply finding out uh, basic angle, I'm doing sine inverse of 2 upon 3. This plus minus only helps to identify the quadrant in which we will have a general angle, right? So now for basic, basic angle, just pick up the numeral value. So I got 41.8. That's why I've written everywhere 41.8, basic angle, angle in all four quadrants. Now, because the range is 0 to 360, if you go If you go from here, it is 41 degree, 41.8 I have written here. Now if you continue and I stop here, it is 180 minus 41.8, which is 138.2. If you continue, you stop here, it is 180 plus 41.8, which is 221.8. And if you continue, it is 360 minus 41.8, which is 318.2. And all these angles are equal to 2x. Because this domain you have gotten for 2x. So now each angle will be divided by 2. And you will get the values of x. So these are your angles. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it or learned something from it, please press like and subscribe button. You can press bell icon. You will get the notification of my videos. Um, you can share it with your friends. And do visit the site. You will find it useful. Do give your post positive comments. It helps to make more videos.